All right, it's your boys, the Oxys, and we are back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video. And in today's video, we are actually going to be finally taking Ray, who is the free-to-play SSR max limit break character that everybody will be getting in the span of two weeks. We already got one copy um, on the release of the half anniversary update, and we are going to be getting another copy of her actually on the fifth day so i want to say three more days but we're actually going to be running her in pvp because i think this is a character that will actually shine heavenly in pvp right now her skills are not upgraded at all but she is a character who will work in pvp because she does create a decoy with um basically for the entire game the entire match right what 240 seconds and it recovers avatar with 52.8 percent of the captain's max hp these are all level one skills right not to mention after 60 normal attacks fills burst gauge could be pretty nice in pvp right and then also um the taunt on her burst skill so we're actually going to use her but we're going to run her with biscuit who is the character who makes defender allies if you guys look here Defender allies become invincible for five seconds when their HP falls below 50%. So on top of the decoy, I'm not sure if how this is going to work with the decoy because I'm still not 1000% sure if the decoy's HP just gets added into the shield. Some people were saying it does. I can't tell you guys because the decoy doesn't have an HP bar over the head. So I guess we just have to like wait for it to like, I guess, do its job or whatever. But we're going to basically run a comp like this. We're going to probably have Moldernia in there. Um... No. So we're gonna have Modernia, Biscuit, and then we need a one more defender. I'm thinking I guess we could actually just run Polly. Right? We could just do this. We'll keep her in the middle. We'll oh no. We'll do it like this. Polly, Modernia in the middle. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm not controlling. We'll have her in the middle and then we can have then we'll have you here. Let me build a team, y'all. All right, so I think this is the team I'm gonna run. Basically, Polly, Biscuit, Modernia, and Ray. Uh, so we should be good here, right? I want to see how well she works in PvP. Um, let's go against this person, Magmore or More Mag. My bad. We're not gonna beat this person, but just to kind of test out the tankiness on her, right? We're definitely gonna lose to this person, but just to kind of see the tankiness with the decoy and also Biscuit's effect as well. I think Ray. Uh, should be pretty nice in PvP, right? Pretty a pretty nice option for just a defensive like punching bag, right? Especially if you're running her with someone like Biscuit. So let's take a look here and see how well she performs here. Um, so they go for Polly. I probably should have had Ray there in the first slot. Um, right? It's kind of taking long to build our burst gauge, which is not really all that good. There's her ultimate. Um, we are taunting now. And you guys can see with the decoy, she's kind of tanking. I hope they show um how much she was tanking there. But the thing is, we don't really have any bursting here. Any burst. Uh, it took long to get our burst there. So, wow. No, she's not doing bad at all, actually. She was tanking there. Can I see the stats? Yeah, let's see. Um, Ray, she was tanking. Yeah, 1.4 million. Right? Yeah, she was tanking indeed. Okay, not bad actually. Not bad actually at all. I want to say what I should do probably is I'm going to have her in the first slot there. Right? Um, let's let's fix this team. Let's have her in the first slot. Let's, I want to say, take off Privity and put in Senti just so that we have three defenders essentially and then we also will be um what's it called our burst gauge will go up faster right obviously uh oh we're not gonna get the massive attack buff though because senti is or poly is in the last slot though so i messed up there we're definitely gonna try it against other teams as well just to see but against this team it kind of shows how good she is as a, as a defender right um, in the first slot too, I guess they're not going for her. Or maybe they are, the decoy is getting hit, right? You can see the decoy. So wait, let me take a look. Cause I think, I believe the decoy got hit. Or, yeah, so decoy, that was the, the entire time the decoy was getting hit there. Wow, well, she died beforehand anyways, so that was a kind of a yikes there. Um, immune now because 50% and then again. Yeah, so with Biscuit, I want to say Ray and Biscuit comp is kind of like... 
in terms of just having that defensive tank support, whatever you want to call it, it's a pretty good combination, right? Obviously, with the decoy as well, it's not a bad, a bad combination whatsoever. Um, let me see the defense this time, because this time they were she was attacked more. So I guess she was attacked. Yeah, 1.7. You guys can kind of see here, 1.7. So yeah, I mean she's pretty good in arena for that defensive thing, right? Now we can kind of like change the team around here. Um, I don't know where the other person is. Okay, it's fine. Let me actually just switch this and fix this team again. I'm actually gonna do it like this. So Polly, then you, and then we're also going to have, I wanna put Pervy back on the team. All right, kinda keep it like this. And we can go for this person. We will beat this person obviously, but, right. And we're gonna also take her to the special arena as well, right, the SP arena, because I think that's where we can have more of a, I guess open testing and stuff like that. Because obviously in here, the rookie arena there's only one person that's stronger than me so everybody else kind of just gets beaten and it's not really a showcase as you guys see right what am i showcasing there nothing else really gets showcased there so let me take her into special sp i'll build a team and i'll be right back all right so for some reason special interception or the, not special interception the sp arena is not working like you just can't build a team or something like that um it just says system error so we're actually gonna just go back and fight this one person i want to try this team ray and jackal um kind of the, it's more of just a defensive team and then we have privity in the first slot to stun but we kind of are banking on modernity to actually just do damage here the whole time um which I'm not sure she's going to be able to do. They got a Scarlet and they also have a healer. Um, so this might just be a stall fest here. We might see. I don't know. But it's definitely a character who I think is a good option for PvP defending. I personally wouldn't use her because I don't think I need to, honestly. Um, if you want me to be completely honest with you. But yeah. Okay. We got this stun off. Did we get noise? Oh, oh my god. Are we really about to win? Finally, I I finally beat the number one person in my thing. Wow, all it took was privity to stun them. That's all it took. Okay. Um. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> what? Let's run it back. I went in with the wrong team. I went in with the wrong team. I went in with the wrong team. Okay, well, there's nothing I could have done there. Uh, I don't know why it does that. Why it doesn't just stick to the last team I used, but I'm not going to really complain there. Um, but yeah, like I said, she's going to be a very good option in PvP. I want to say if you have Biscuit 2, definitely a very good comp to run in PvP, right? Like you can run the defending team where you have a defender and a defender at the end. I think Jack was the defender, right? Is Jack a defender? Yeah, so you could literally have defender and defender at the end, biscuit in the middle, a burst uh, two. You don't even need one because biscuit's there, but because I want to say you only need one. And then you can have your main nuker being Scarlet or Haran, and that could be a nice team as well, right? But I want to say Ray with the decoy is a t character that will actually possibly even paired up with Jackal and biscuit and how they both work could possibly be the like number one tank in pvp possibly and i say that in a sense of not like the like tankiest i'm talking about in a sense of stalling out the longest right technically it's just jackal in general but jackal's effect on top of the decoy on top of ray keep in mind my raise levels were all level one so I'm sure if we had more and more, that could have been even way better, right? So, you guys definitely let me know what you think about Rey. Um, I think she was a pretty nice free-to-play character. Don't really see much value for her outside of PvP, if you want me to be honest. Obviously, you can use her in just ge general progression if you need a tank, but that's all she is. She does no damage besides from her normal attack. So, keep that in mind completely when using this free-to-play character. It's going to be your boys, the Oxus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Later. Peace.